What is going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the Vizog. In today's video, all right, I just want to show you guys if you guys have the heads up display, right, which is I don't know how well you guys can see it, but right now it's saying zero miles per hour and also that my tire uh, levels is low and also gives you a whole bunch of different stuff. So right now we're in the radio. You can do just a whole bunch of stuff. So if you guys had that in your car, the heads up display, I'm going to show you guys how you could code um, your turn signals in it, which I feel like comes in handy because sometimes you don't realize that your turn signals on if you're listening to music or whatever. And as you're driving down the highway, you just look at your heads up display and you can see that it's indicated that it's on. So let me give you a short little demonstration. So we're going to turn on the left turn in my heads up display. It is indicated that I am turning left. We're going to switch it over to the right. We're going to turn it off and then we're also going to do the hazards as well. So yeah, with that being said, let's get into today's video. And a way how you guys can know if you guys have the heads up display is either if you check the packages on your car, um, you just automatically look in the front to see if you have it, or if you guys have the screen behind your steering wheel, this is pretty much what the heads up display is. It's located down here, and you guys can see the outline right there. How it says zero miles per hour, left turn signal, the radio right here, and I think you could do the phone too. Yeah, so if you're connected to the car, you guys can see all of that. And it's pretty convenient having a heads up display too. So if you guys are having or are looking into getting a new BMW, I would recommend purchasing, putting that into your package, the heads up display, because it just looks so dope to have. Um, and I'm sure with the newer models too, that they're gonna put more stuff, more features into it. This is a 2015 BMW. And I'm sure with the 2020s, you could do like a whole lot more. Also, another cool thing about the heads up display is that if you go into settings, you go into heads up display, you could display the information that you want to be um, shown, which is cruise control, navigation, check control messages, and stuff like that. And also, if we go back and we go to, you could control the brightness, the height, and also the rotation. So with the height, adjust it. So if you were like a shorter person or whatever, you could lower it. So you can see right there, I like it all the way up. You can also, um, hold on. You can also rotate it as well. So you could turn it so it's at an angle. So it's at a slight angle. It's not really much, but it's something. I like to leave it in the middle because it's good like that. And you could, like I said, you could raise the height, lower it. It's pretty cool. And of course, in today's video, we're gonna be using the iCar OBD Professional Solution. What this is, is that it's a wireless OBD scanner that goes into your OBD port. That way you can connect this to your phone, which we're gonna be using Beamer code to code this. So right now, we're just gonna plug this in down below into the OBD port. All right, now we're gonna hop on the phone and we are going to connect the Wi-Fi going to connect to V-Link, which is the name of this um, OBD scanner. So we're going to go V-Link. All right, now we're going to go into. So now that we're in Beamer code, we're going to press connect. We're going to connect to the car. Now you can code this with the car off, but I would recommend having it connected to a trickle charger or a battery tender or something because it is going to drain your battery if you guys plan on doing a lot of coding. Um, or you can also leave the car on and there shouldn't be any issue while coding with the car on So right now we're in a 5 series the F10 So we're gonna press continue So now it's checking the terminal status We're just gonna wait for this to load All right, so now that we are just about loaded up You're gonna want to go into one menu, which is the instrument cluster right here now, this is not gonna work for every car. This is only for the cars that have the heads-up display, all right? So if you don't have a heads-up display, then you cannot do this code. So just a little warning from now. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna wait for this to load. As you can see, we're on 52%. 
All right, so now that we're in the instrument cluster, we're gonna go down to heads up display, which is right here, the last thing, right? So as you can see, you got your music list, your phone book, telephone list, voice input, and heads up display indicators. All right, so you're gonna press that. And if you guys don't have it already coded, it's gonna say not active. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is just press active up top. You're gonna to wanna to press back. And this is gonna light up blue in the top right corner, which says code. So you guys are just gonna press that, let the car do its thing. And as a matter of fact, let me see if I could um, press not active and then back to active. Will it code? No, okay. So we're gonna do not active, just so I can show you guys how it's going to look um, when the car starts passing out, which is gonna be totally normal. So we're gonna press code top right. It's gonna say important note, please note that the coding process should not be interrupted. So yeah, if you guys have a phone call or any of that, make sure that your phone is in Bluetooth. Oh, I'm sorry, not Bluetooth, in airplane mode. That way you don't have any interruptions. So we're gonna press start coding. As you see, it says preparing to code. The car is gonna start spazzing out. instrument uh, panel mal malfunction, which is totally normal. As you can see, it says finishing the coding. This is all gonna spaz out. Mind you, the car is still on right now. So if the car wasn't on, um, it'd still be spazzing out like this, but my car is on right now. All right, and it says coding successful. I'm gonna press OK. So right now, since I already had it on before and I just took it off, it's not gonna show. So what I am going to do, I'm gonna show you guys. The left turn signal, as you can see, nothing is on, but down below it is on. And up top, nothing is happening. So we're gonna turn that off. And I'm actually gonna code it back in to the car. So we're gonna press that. I'm gonna to go to active, press back, and then code once again. Start coding. Clearing the codes, coding successful. So now everything should be back to normal. Those are all the um, all the notifications I had is up there. And we're gonna do the left turn signal, right turn signal, and then we're gonna do the hazards as well. And that's pretty much how you guys do it. And then all you do when you're done is you just wanna press back and then you're gonna disconnect. All right, so that's done. You lock your phone and then just take this out and then store it away and you're good to go. But yeah, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Leave a comment down below on what you guys wanna see next and hopefully I can get back to you. See you guys in the next one, peace.